On this episode of Bobscaping, I just wanted to come back and show you this pine. We trimmed the candles on it three weeks ago. Uh, it's a white pine, and you can see the ones that were trimmed and how it's starting to look like a Christmas tree. It helps them to fill out and get thicker. And you can also see the candle on top that we left untrimmed has now extended upward and gotten much longer. So that'll be the new leader. Ideally on a pine you want to keep it to a single leader and that's what we have going here. I see the uh, lamb's ear perennials starting to crowd this pine. I'm going to have to get out here and create some gap between it and the pine so it doesn't uh, kill off those lower branches. But yeah, this is uh, this tree's very nice. I'm happy with the results and uh, just wanted to show you this follow-up like uh, three weeks, a little over three weeks out. I had a friend in the nursery business at Sugar Run Nursery in Venetia and he used to wait until July to trim his pine candles. Uh, the, the whole goal is to trim them soon enough that they develop a new bud on the growing tip. You can see these haven't developed their buds yet on the growing tips. But that's the whole goal. You don't want to trim them so late that it's too late for them to create that bud. You can kind of see it here on, on some of the ones that were left untrimmed. Okay, for this episode of Bobscaping, this is Bob.